So next is how to find the null values. If we can we pass those values, can we get anything out of them? For example, I've this is the data. We have a bunch of nulls here. I can get the manager ID or I can get the bonus. For example, I'm gonna try go for the bonus. Let's copy this one more time. Where bonus is equal to um, null. See if I get this. Nope, I get the error. So let's run this one more time. Okay, it's null. Oh. Null meant like logically meant he or she did not get any bonus. Let's try bonus is equal to zero. Nada. Again error. So what we have to do is we have to for to find null values we have to go with is null. Now we'll get that record. Oh this one right here. Oh so for that matter, let's run this one more time. We're gonna get the error. We got nothing. It ran, but it did not show me anything. It did not show me that null record. It's showing what it's doing is if there was zero enter for anybody, if there was, those will be listed here. But null meant that nothing was entered into the database and it took the default value of null. So for to get the accurately get that particular record, we have to run the is null. Now you see it was employee number 15 and I have the null there. That's how you find null values from the um, database table. Uh, let's execute it one more time. This time I'm going to go with the null, where date of leaving is null. So we're going to copy this one more time. Now we can. What we can do is we can manipulate it by just where date of leaving is null. So it should give me um, 16 records minus 1 to 14 records. So if I run this now. I should get 14 records and I do get 14 records everybody whose date of leaving is null that's how you pass the is null operator